My name's Peter Reid. This is my Pagani Huayra. This one, uh, Horatio designed it to sound like an aeroplane. So when you're driving it, you get all the whistles of a jet engine. As soon as you put your foot down and the, uh, the turbos spin up, it just the, you get F40 type of sound coming out of the back. I think you can probably say it's scary. Um, it's, it's actually very well planted, and when it's, when it's dry, um, with these, the, the ailerons you've got at the, the, the front, it just keeps it stuck to the ground. It does worry me slightly in the wet because the, uh, the rear, rear tyres are so wide. Passengers, uh, the reaction is, firstly, it is, it is exceedingly quick. Um, the other thing is actually that it, there is quite a lot of noise with, this, with the sound of the, the, the engine and the turbos. I think the, uh, more of the reaction comes from people outside it. Um, especially if you've, you've just overtaken them and they suddenly see, see the flaps coming up at the back. Because of the acceleration, you can overtake just about anything um, without, it, without a problem. The, the only downside is driving down, driving down a motorway, you suddenly find you've got people coming along the side of you with camera phones taking pictures. And that can get quite scary because somebody's going along with a camera phone and trying to steer and the next thing you know they're coming and knock the side of you. So, that's when, you, that's when you really do need the acceleration and it's just blast yourself out of the space. This is the, the, the first wire in, in Europe. Uh, it's chassis 007. Um, I spec'd it with Horatio Pagani when it was still on the drawing board. I've known Horatio for a number of years um, through owning a, owning a Zonda. And when he was, uh, he was designing the car, um, I just looked at the shapes and exactly what he was going to do. And it was such a special car that even when it was just on the drawing board, I said, yes, I'll, I'll have one. One interesting point about him that very few people know is he actually lives with his family at the factory. Um, it was, he was so passionate about the car and taking it forward that um, that's where he wanted to base himself. Lovely guy, really, uh, really, really friendly. Um, he, he, he loves people to sort of appreciate the shapes and the, uh, the designs of the car.